Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Souza and I'm going to present our work titled Bayesian Optimization with a Prior for the Optimum. Let's start with a quick background. Bayesian Optimization is an increasingly popular optimization method that achieves both high sample efficiency and strong final performance. Basically, Bayesian Optimization is able to find good configurations or good function values fast and finds a very good final result. The core idea behind Bayesian optimization is that it builds a surrogate model that tries to predict how the function behaves. Bayesian optimization then can use the surrogate model to predict the behavior of the function and then choose points to explore in a more intelligent way. Because of this approach and this high, high performance, Bayesian optimization has been successfully applied to very se several different fields, like hardware design, better lifetime estimation, computer go, even automated machine learning. And besides, even some large tech companies like Facebook and Google have started using Bayesian optimization to optimize their applications, and some even proposing their own frameworks for Bayesian optimization. However, despite this recent success of Bayesian optimization, many experts still do not use Bayesian optimization in their applications. In fact, a recent report showed that most experts prefer to use manual tuning to optimize their applications. One of the reasons for that is that experts often have a lot of prior knowledge about their application, a lot of expert knowledge about how their problem behaves or how the application behaves, but they don't have a good way to inject this knowledge into Bayesian optimization. The result is that when they try to use Bayesian optimization, Bayesian optimization often ends up wasting some or several function evaluations, exploring regions that the expert already knew that would work, not work well. And these end up being, in the eyes of the expert, wasted evaluations. To address this problem, we propose our solution that we call BowPro, or Bayesian optimization with a prior for the optimum. BowPro allow ex allows experts to inject their knowledge about their application in the form of a probability distribution of where in the space they expect to find the optimum. BowPro then uses this information to try to guide the optimization towards these regions where the experts expect to perform well, and away from regions where the experts expect to perform poorly. At the same time, BowPro combines this information with a model that learns from the data where to find good configurations, and as a result, is able to find configurations better and faster. At the same time, since BowPro has an independently trained model that learns only from the data, it is also able to forget the prior and still find good configurations in the, in the event that the prior is misleading or wrong, if, for example, the application behaves a little bit different from what the expert expected or from what the expert thought would happen. Let's take a look at BowPro in more detail, starting with the prior. As I said, BowPro allows experts to inject prior knowledge into the optimization in the form of a probability distribu distribution, and then uses this probability distribution to guide the search. An important point here is that BowPro is very flexible with respect to how these probability distributions are defined and which probability distributions can be used. For example, BowPro could be used with a name distribution like a Gaussian or a beta, or a list of probabilities that give uh, probabilities of different points in the space being good or the optimum, in the case of a continuous or discrete space, or even used with some pre history of previous points to estimate a probability distribution. In fact, BowPro can be used virtually with any probability distribution, which means BowPro is very flexible with respect to which priors can be injected into the optimization process. In other words, BowPro does not limit the prior knowledge that can be injected into optimization in any way, only the fact that it has to be a probability distribution. On the other hand, as I said, BowPro also trains a model that is trained solely on the data. The problem here is that the standard probabilistic model that's used in Bayesian optimization doesn't work with BowPro because it's hard to combine that model with the prior knowledge that we have. Basically, the prior knowledge is a prior on the probability of a point being the optimum, while the standard Bayesian optimization model is a model that predicts the function value for different points. Basically, we have model and prior computing different things. So in BowPro, we use a slightly different model that actually predicts the probability of a point being good. To do that, we first have to define what is a good point in the eyes of the model. To do that, we use an idea similar to that of the TPE of Bergstra et al. And we define a threshold on what are good and bad points. Basically, points with a function value below the threshold are considered good, 
and points with function value above the threshold are considered bad. With that, we have a simple definition of good and bad points for our model. Now we need a way to compute a probability based on that. For that, we use the fact that the standard probabilistic models in Bayesian optimization, they have a Gaussian for, meaning that for each point, we can compute a mean and variance of a Gaussian distribution on top of that point. Armed with this, we can use the idea of probability of improvement from the literature to compute the probability of a point having a function value below the threshold. In other words, we can use this to compute the probability of a point being good according to the threshold. And with that, we have a model that computes for any given x that we want, any given configuration, the probability of that configuration being good, something that we can directly combine with our priors. Now, let's see how we do that. To combine prior and model, we use an idea that is inspired and in a way similar to the idea of a posterior, which we call a pseudo-posterior. Basically, we compute a pseudo-posterior by multiplying the prior with the model. And here, the model acts as a sort of likelihood model for the sake of this computation. But to make things a little bit different, we also add something that we call a model weight to the model into the pseudo-posterior computation. The idea here is that this model weight will grow as the iterations progress and give more and more weight to the model as the optimization progresses. Intuitively, the model will become more accurate as it observes more data and eventually will become better than the user at predicting where to find good points. So as the optimization progresses, we want the model to wash out the prior and dominate optimization. This is a key feature for BoPro because it allows BoPro to also forget priors that are misleading or recover from wrong priors, as I mentioned previously. To validate BoPro, we compared it into other optimization methods in a suite of synthetic and real-world benchmarks. First, we compared BoPro to 10,000 times random sampling, which is a uniform random sampling approach, but for each sample that BoPro does, we allow random sampling to do 10,000 samples. And we compare BoPro to Spearmint, a state-of-the-art Bayesian optimization solution, a standard one without priors. And basically, we saw that Bayesian optimization, sorry, BoPro can outperform random sampling in all of the benchmarks. And compared to standard Bayesian optimization, BoPro is able to converge faster, an average 12 times faster than Spearmint, and also find similar or better performance in all of the synthetic benchmarks showing that the prior helps BoPro to outperform standard Bayesian optimization and finds better configuration better and faster. At the same time, we also compared BoPro to state-of-the-art solutions in a real-world hardware design application. For this, we got, we, have, we got three benchmarks and we asked an expert in hardware design to help us pro pro by providing priors to this, for these benchmarks. This expert is not an author of this paper and not, was not a part of this project, and so he's something out from outside. He's an expert from outside. And we asked him to provide priors for BoPro and a manually tuned configuration that is the best configuration that he could manually craft or find. We compare BoPro with the expert prior to the expert himself and to random sampling and the state of the art of Bayesian optimization for these benchmarks, which is called HyperMapper. And basically we see that BoPro is able to once again outperform random sampling BoPro can leverage the expert prior and outperform the expert himself in all of the benchmarks. And compared to standard Bayesian optimization, BoPro once again converts faster in, two of, in the two smallest benchmarks, up to two times faster, and finds a better result overall in the third, more difficult benchmark. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you were interested.